Hello, everyone. My name is Ji Young, and I'm from Michigan State University. I'm presenting the work done with my collaborators, Wei and Hiven. So in this study, we show that sleep is a complex experience entangled with social dynamics between family members. We present information obtained through 40 semi-structured interviews with 20 parents of young children between the age of two and seven. And we suggest expanding the view of sleep when designing technologies. Unhealthy sleep has become a critical public health issue that affect more than 50 million individuals in the United States. Sleep problems can influence the physical, emotional, and behavioral health of the whole family. Recent survey data indicated that more than 50% of American parents lose an average of 30 minutes of sleep each night because of their children's awakening during the night. For example, if your child frequently cries at night, this also influences the quality of your sleep and daytime functioning at work. Early sleep medicine literature viewed sleep as an unconscious activity that could only be assessed with sensing technologies in controlled environments such as lab settings. The increasing availability of emerging technologies has made home-based care possible. And this created a new opportunity for researchers to explore social aspects of health technologies within the home context. Studies suggested that technologies can help people follow guidelines for better sleep, including guided meditation and keeping a sleep diary through the app. However, these studies still view sleep as a human behavior tied to morning and nighttime behaviors that happen primarily in the bedroom. In addition, in these previous studies, the units of analysis or users of technology was the individual. Therefore, the uniqueness of families, including sleep-related matters that arose from interactive interactions among householders were not addressed. In HCI, studies have investigated the role of technologies in facilitating families' collaboration. Studies discussed how social technical systems can influence and reshape the existing roles, responsibilities, and dynamics of the home environment. However, although some previous work addressed the importance of, of collaboration among families for their sleep management, social dynamics have gained less attention. Because of these limitations, core issues of family sleep those that stem from the transition to being parents of young children are less studied. So in line with this series of studies, our study aimed to understand how technologies can challenge existing family dynamics in managing sleep. There are two research questions that guided our study. How do families work towards establishing sleep routines in their everyday lives? What are the facilitators that help and barriers that hinder families in managing sleep routine. Through these questions, we aim to draw design implications for family-centered sleep support system. To collect the data, we had two separate Zoom interview sessions with 20 parents of children between two and seven years old. So during the first interview, we asked participants to do mind mapping activities so as to freely talk about their experiences related to their family sleep. Within the two weeks, participants were invited for a semi-structured interview. We asked questions about the family's bedtime routines, challenges, and strategies to manage sleep, and technology used. We applied grounded theory approach for analyzing data and conducted open coding and affinity diagrams. So our research indicated that the most critical factors that affected the family sleep involved more than the bedtime routine or bedroom environment. For them, the deeper issues of sleep stem from the transition to being parents. Our participants noted that after they had children, their criteria to determine whether they had good sleep shifted from an individual experiencing sound sleep at night to issues involving family dynamics. For example, good sleep can be achieved only if the children have an early bedtime and sleep through the night. If a child's sleep routine was not settled, this drastically affected the sleep of parents and other siblings. So this new perspective on good sleep shows that collaboration among family members is essential. 
So first, when participants described their sleep-related issues, they frequently discussed how, how their lives had changed drastically after they became parents. The most important sleep agenda for our participants was their children's sleep because it provides self-care time for the parents. Parents' free time is guaranteed only with the children's fixed bedtime routine and sound sleep. Parents shared how they use their free time after children's bedtime to ease the tension from their daily routines. They often do activities that they could not do during the day, such as sewing and kneading, using their phone, reading a book, or playing games. So this picture was from participant Yarn collection, and she said this gave her comfort after her two children's bedtime. So another participant mentioned that she would do anything for her daughter's early bedtime because it provides her with more free time. The second, to meet participant goal of having children sleep, time management was critical throughout the day. Their schedule affected the on-time sleep that led to a good sleep for both children and parents. However, for families with young children, time is always a limited, valuable, and collective resources. During the interview, participants share how they plan their family's routine around their children's needs, such as nap times or school schedule. One participant daughter was two years old and thus used a more visually oriented system for her routines, a chart with pictures of morning, nap time, and bedtime responsibilities. The chart helped the child maintain the routine regardless of which adult was in charge, including parents or grandparents. The third, my, uh, our research indicated that appropriate household management strategies were critical for a successful sleep routine for the participant. To manage their routine, parents divided their tasks depending on their daily schedule. They also taught children small household court responsibility to manage the family life effectively. So these coordinated efforts and division of labor affected the family's routine and eventually their sleep. One participant and her husband take turns on weekends, sleeping with their youngest daughter, who frequently comes to their bedroom at night. If one of them sleeps with this child, it is convenient to put her back to sleep whenever she wakes up. In this way, the, the other parents can have a more extended amount of, amount of sleep until morning. Our participant experiences show that sharing roles, responsibilities, and providing care are necessary to manage their everyday lives and also sleep. Lastly, although families try to establish and maintain a desirable bedtime routine and healthy sleep, they were not able to do so when their life situations changed. Our research showed that many factors dynamically influence their sleep patterns, including children's developmental stages and changing life circumstances, such as travel or having visitors. So there is no one-size-fits-all strategy applicable to different periods of children's developmental stages. In one participant family, her children, six and eight years old, recently developed the fear of dark. So to comfort them, she moved the two children's bed into the same room. So this was a significant success because it both alleviated the children's bedtime routine and saved families' time. So through trial, trial and error, participants had to continuously find the best approaches that worked for their families. So there are two main design implications from our study. So we showed how the boundaries that define sleep in terms of time, space, and units of analysis limit designers' opportunities to tackle the deeper issues of families. So our participant, family sleep issues denote complex and collaborative experiences that are not limited by the three boundaries that have been frequently discussed by existing studies. Second, our research showed that successful collaboration is necessary to achieve good sleep for families. Sleep support system that did not consider family dynamics would not be effective for families, particularly those with young children. So our contribution is twofold. The study suggests that broadening the issues of sleep from the individual to the whole family can help researchers more deeply understand participants' experiences related to sleep. 
Also, we suggest that the importance of considering the division of labor for the family sound sleep. Sharing roles and like, providing care are necessary to manage families' everyday lives as well as sleep. In our paper, we have included many more interesting findings from our participant experiences. Please check. Thank you.